Top 10 Foods to Dissolve Blood Clots Naturally Your body naturally produces blood clots every day to protect your blood vessels from damage. Blood clots can be a serious health concern, leading to various complications. Sometimes, these clots don't dissolve properly and they may get stuck or wedged in your arteries or veins. This is very dangerous because it can stop blood from flowing to and from your heart, resulting in the risks of blood clots not dissolving in a heart attack, a stroke if the clots are near your brain, or an embolism where a clot breaks off and gets stuck in your lungs. Sitting for too long, being overweight, pregnant, taking birth control, or eating too many inflammatory foods can all increase your risk of blood clots. Fortunately, there are certain vitamins, minerals, and foods that can help your body naturally dissolve blood clots. In this video, we'll discover the top 10 foods that dissolve blood clots naturally. So, let's jump right in. Number 1. Turmeric. People have long used turmeric for culinary and medicinal purposes. Curcumin is an active ingredient in turmeric and appears to have anti-inflammatory and blood-thinning or anticoagulant properties. A 2019 review indicates that turmeric may help block blood clotting. However, it advises caution when combining turmeric with blood-thinning drugs. Number 2. Cloves. Eating just 1 to 2 cloves per day can help prevent platelets in your blood from clumping together and forming dangerous clots. Cloves are small dried flower buds used as a spice and natural medicine in many different cultures. What's special about them is that they contain a powerful compound called eugenol, which has five times the antioxidant power of vitamin E, helping to prevent oxidative damage in your arteries and veins, and improve circulation to help dissolve clots. Additionally, you can also get a good amount of eugenol by eating basil leaves. Number 3. Ginger. Ginger is another anti-inflammatory spice that may help prevent blood clotting. A 2015 literature review shows that it may do this by reducing thromboxane, a hormone that causes platelets to aggregate or stick together. Ginger also contains salicylates, the same substances that give aspirin its blood-thinning properties. More research is needed to fully understand the potential blood-thinning properties of ginger. Number 4. Kiwis. Kiwis are delicious green fruits that contain proteolytic enzymes called actinidin. When you eat this, it helps break down proteins in your body that shouldn't be there, such as fibrin around harmful blood clots. Kiwi is also a good source of vitamin E, an antioxidant, that supports your heart and the cardiovascular system. Eating just 2-3 to three kiwis per week can help prevent dangerous blood clots from forming, and also help your body digest meat, fish, and protein. Number 5. Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Extra virgin olive oil is a key part of the Mediterranean diet, and is well known for lowering the risk of heart disease. This oil is rich in polyphenols, oleic acid, and vitamin E, all of which help strengthen your blood vessels by improving endothelial function and reducing oxidative damage. Consuming just 1 to 2 tablespoons of this oil per day, raw and drizzled over your salad, is a fantastic way to help dissolve dangerous blood clots. Number 6. Pineapple. In some cultures, mashed pineapples are placed around meat to tenderize it and make it easy to chew and cook. This is because, like kiwi, pineapple contains proteolytic enzymes called bromelain, which helps break down protein. Studies show that bromelain from pineapple can also help dissolve the tough fibrous tissue around blood clots. So start eating a serving of pineapple once or twice per week to reap these benefits. Number 7. Paprika. Paprika is a spice made from dried peppers and contains concentrated amounts of salicylates. Salicylates act like a natural blood thinner, helping prevent platelets from clumping together and forming harmful clots. Heat doesn't destroy these, so feel free to add paprika to your cooked dishes like stir-fries, soups, stews, or the classic goulash. You can also get healthy doses of salicylates by eating cherries, blueberries, and strawberries. Number 8. Avocado. If you have fluid retention in your body, a swollen face, swollen legs, or feet, you are likely at a higher risk of developing blood clots and deep vein thrombosis. The extra fluid in your body puts pressure on your veins and arteries, causing clotting and platelet activation. 
The best way to flush out this extra fluid is by consuming foods rich in potassium and magnesium. Avocados are some of the richest natural sources of these. They also provide vitamin E, phytosterols, and oleic acid. All of which can help dissolve harmful blood clots in the body. You can also get a good amount of potassium and magnesium from eating leafy greens, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage, broccoli, salmon, and pumpkin seeds. Number 9. Sardines. Out of all the different types of protein you could eat, sardines are some of the healthiest. These small fish are rich in EPA and DHA, two essential omega-3 fats. That lower inflammation in the arteries and the heart. Eating sardines, whether fresh or canned, can help control your blood pressure, relax the artery walls, and improve blood flow around the body to reduce the risk of stroke, thrombosis, heart attack, or pulmonary embolism. Number 10. Capers. Quercetin is a yellow-colored pigment found in many different foods, like onions, grapes, cherries, and citrus fruits. This phytonutrient blocks something called thromboxane A2 in the body, reducing the risk of dangerous blood clots from forming. Capers are some of the richest sources of quercetin in the world and are often used in Mediterranean cuisine. They taste good with a tuna salad or perhaps some deviled eggs. So add some of these to your rotation to help protect your cardiovascular system as a whole. How to dissolve blood clots. As we know, our bodies are constantly making tiny clots in our blood vessels and breaking them down all day long. However, as you get older, become less mobile, become overweight, or have some type of medical condition. You get a higher risk of blood clots not dissolving properly. In addition to eating the foods, there are also some other steps you can take to help dissolve them. So let's take a look at these. Firstly, it's important to keep exercising regularly. Exercise can help improve blood flow in the body, and this can be particularly helpful in preventing blood clots from forming. Regular exercise can also help in breaking down existing blood clots. Low-impact exercises such as walking, cycling, and swimming are recommended as they are less strenuous on the body. Next, avoid eating foods that have been cooked in processed vegetable or seed oils. Canola, cottonseed, rapeseed, corn, non-extra virgin olive oil, margarine, and soy oils can form sticky proteins in your blood, raising the risk of forming blood clots. So avoid fast food as much as you can and cook your own healthy meals at home using raw virgin coconut oil, avocado oil, or extra virgin cold-pressed olive oil. You may also take a supplement called serapeptase. Serapeptase is an enzyme made from silkworms, which helps to dissolve blood clots in your body. In the same way it would dissolve a cocoon when it's metamorphosizing. You can take this in the form of a daily supplement to help keep your blood clots at bay. It's also important to stop smoking or even vaping. Smoking depletes vitamin C and damages the lining of your arteries and veins, raising the risk of embolisms and blood clots. So try your very best to quit and consider using a nicotine patch to help wean yourself off cigarettes or vape devices. If you're overweight, have diabetes, or suffer from poor circulation, following a low-carbohydrate diet, such as the ketogenic diet, is an excellent option. Additional supplements and nutrients that can help break down blood clots naturally are available. I hope you will find this video helpful, if yes, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for a better health choice. Thank you for watching.